Hi, I'm JJ. I'm Henry. Uh, Henry's very nervous. I am so nervous right now. Here's the thing. Uh, we have written a, uh, a Spider-Man comic book. What is up, everybody? I am back. Hold up, we need some light. Hey everyone, I'm back with proper lighting and the microphone. All right, people. CB Soibolowski, the head honcho at Marvel Comics, Marvel Publishing, made a big announcement. It was a four-day countdown. He had spider web things. Four, three, two, one. Big announcement. We're really excited. There's a crazy new villain named Cadavers uh, that uh, can't wait for you to for you to meet. But uh, in September, yeah, Marvel. What. Talking to them for a long time about this, so very excited to be doing it. That announcement hit yesterday, and guess what happened? Nothing, not, nothing happened. Nothing. I'm not even going to let you think about it. Nothing happened. It didn't light any fires. It didn't excite a single person. Maybe some, some faithfuls are excited, but let's be honest. What was the announcement? J.J. Abrams? Henry Abrams? No one's ever heard of you. A.K.A. Rick Moranis. He's teaming up with Rick Moranis, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, to bring you a Spider-Man comic book with a, with a new villain. And it's coming in September. Or whatever month. I don't think it matters. And then there you go. Get excited. Order up. It's going to have probably 500 variant covers. It's going to trick retailers. It's going to manipulate retailers into over-ordering. And then it's just going to fade away. And why is it going to fade away? Because I don't know who Henry Abrams is. No one knows. Or is it Harry Abrams? Harry or Henry Abrams. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what your name is. And it's just an overall desperate reach. It screams of unoriginality. Do you remember the intro? I think I got to the point with the intro. Before we even hit any of this. We're looking at... We are looking at what is really happening within the comic book industry. It's just desperation. And, and you're saying, Pete, well, it's JJ. And, and Pete, you like Super 8. Pete, you even like Star Trek Into Darkness. Pete, you think Mission Impossible 3 is the best of all of them. All of those things are true. Right now, there's so much untapped comic book talent and underpaid comic book talent that you could have given the series to or... You could have did something else. You could have did something else with a big announcement. Even if you want to hijack the Spider-Man Far From Home hype. Not the... Even if you wanted to hijack the Spider-Man Far From Home attention. You could have done something else. You could have done something else. What could you have done? I don't know. Look, look. I wrote down a couple... A quick five other series. I'd rather see J.J. Abrams and Harry Abrams work on. Dark Hawk. That would have been awesome. Terror Inc. Chris Star. Crystal. Chris. Chris Star. Crystal. Okay. That 80s one. The 80s toy line that Marvel has the rights to. I'm pretty sure he's folded into Marvel proper now. New Universe. Star Brand. Do something cool with the New Universe. Again. Okay. And Kill Raven. Those are just five quick ones I'd rather see JJ and Harry Abrams work on. But look. It's not going to be good for Marvel Comics here on out. Because if they cannot generate a level of hype and a level of anticipation easily and quickly. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what else to what I don't know what else to say. I don't know who would be excited for this series. Who would be excited for J.J. Abrams working on the comic book? Who would be excited for yet another Spider-Man something? And who would be excited for Harry Abrams? Okay, now, they, they have an artist. I looked up the artist, spent about two seconds looking up the artist. Sarah Pichelli, the wonderful artist, is working on this with us. She's a genius. They call the artist a genius. I don't know. I don't think it's genius work. When, when, when I think of genius artwork, Okay, I'm sorry. I wouldn't call the artwork or the artist a genius. This this announcement also had uh, some of the, the worst 
uh, announcement artwork or hype artwork I've ever seen. Uh, this dude, the guy who drew this, uh, Oliver Coppola, Coppola, where I can't, I'm not pronouncing his name. I'm not doing that. I am better. I will not pronounce his name. But this dude was fired. This guy was one of the best in the game. His House of M miniseries still is on my list of one of the all-time best Marvel illustrated miniseries out there. Like, it's right up there with Michael Zeck's Punisher stuff. I just, I love this style. He had like a twin style, uh, had a lot of Magnolia and Silvestri fading into the ground stuff. Just amazing. I don't know what that dude put out or why they even allow him to put that out. He must be getting paid nothing. But it, overall, the CB Sorbilowski 4321 Spider-Man web announcement is just, oh, it's just a disappointment. It doesn't get me excited. It's not good for comics. It's not good that no one's excited. I understand if I'm not excited, but no one really seems to be amped up for this. And it's just another indicator of a slow death spiral of the comic book industry, which is why everyone is going into crowdfunding. So just go, go to Indiegogo and find something and buy it. Everyone, I love you. I'm out of here. Don't forget to subscribe. If you think I'm crazy, leave a comment.